What is up guys, it's Aji back with a brand new video. Today we're going to be taking a look at iOS 17. I just got the public beta and I've been testing it out for a couple of days now. So here are 15 plus features and hidden features in iOS 17. Jumping right into it, the first one that we're going to talk about is the new wallpapers that are available in iOS 17. My personal favorite in the previous update was the astronomy ones with the earth and the moon wallpaper. Now astronomy gets a huge update so it's going to get every single planet, you can have Jupiter, Mars, so on. Every planet is available. It looks really cool, plus there's other wallpapers as well like the new unity wallpapers as well as the new kaleidoscope wallpapers which looks really cool as well. But my personal favorite is probably the planet wallpapers because once you unlock the screen it has this very nice fluid animation and it looks really cool next we have interactive widgets I've been wanting this since we got widgets on the iPhone and HomeKit finally has a widget available now because interactive widgets are a thing now that means you don't even have to go into the home application to control your uh, HomeKit devices you can just use a widget it also works on other applications like the music app which you can just play pause directly from the widget instead of having to go physically into the music app there's gonna be a lot of updates for other applications as well but this is a welcome change in iOS 17 next we have private browser on Safari so before when you go into private browsing you can just actually just go into it without any lock or anything like that but now you actually have to unlock it with face ID before you can enter into your private browsing which is pretty cool it gives a little bit more security into your private browsing as well and it's a new change in Safari next we have offline maps this is finally available in Apple Maps so if you actually go into your maps and you go into the little uh, icon of your picture it'll show you your offline maps and you can actually download new maps so let's say you're going into an area where there is no coverage and you want to download that map so when you lose coverage you still have access to the maps you can do that in Apple Maps now this was previously available on Google Maps for a very long time but Apple Maps is finally stepping it up and it's finally available in iOS 17 on the topic of maps we also get additional uh, maps features as well so if you have an electric car you can actually search for electric charging points in your area and it'll actually let you know how many is available if it's paid and the distance between you and the actual charge point this is great for people with electric cars so if you're doing some travels you can actually see along the way directly in Apple Maps where you can charge your car and what is available and how much it's going to be. Next we have updates to the Apple Music Now Playing so if you actually go into the music player and start playing a song you can actually see that the Now Playing screen is completely redesigned so you get these animated artwork on the top and it fills the top portion of your screen which looks really cool in my opinion uh, compared to like the boring little square that you used to get before and it's just it's just a standstill image this looks a lot cleaner so this only works for songs that support this but a lot of new music on Apple Music actually supports this so it's gonna look a lot better when you're playing music in the music player app another long-awaited feature for Apple music is crossfade so this was actually available on iTunes on your desktop if you have that but they finally have the support for crossfade in Apple music so whenever you're listening to music and it transitions to the next song it's gonna have a nice little fade effect so it's gonna fade in from your previous song into the new song it gives a nicer feel and it feels like the song is just continuous it's just a nice little feature to have in Apple music next we have screen distance we had screen time on iOS for a while now but with the new update it brings screen distance so when this is enabled whenever your phone is too close to your face it will actually give you a pop-up saying that you're too close and you cannot use the phone until you hold it at a proper distance this is going to help reduce eye strains and this is going to be especially beneficial for kids that are on their iPads or phones that are holding it too close to their face next we have a little update in the camera application so if you actually go into the camera application and you start taking a video in horizontal mode you'll actually see this leveler pop-up so you can actually see if your video is level or not this is gonna be great for people that actually use your phones for a lot of video um, if you want to make sure that your phone is perfectly leveled now you have this feature in iOS 17 next we have the ability to ping Apple watches from your iPhone so previously we had the option to ping our phone from our Apple watch but now you can actually go into control center on your iPhone and you can ping your Apple watch so if you're losing your Apple watch now you have a quicker way of finding it now this next one is pretty simple but it's gonna be very useful so if you guys know in iOS you can already already autofill uh, verification codes for your messages and mail right into any of the applications that you're using but one thing is whenever you get these verification codes you have to manually erase them now there's a new option where you can clean up automatically all the verification codes so when you get a text message of a verification code and it's automatically autofilled it's going to automatically delete that message right from your messages so it actually makes your messages look a lot cleaner instead of having all these verification codes sent throughout your phone 
Next, we have updates to Spotlight Search in iOS. I've always used Spotlight Search because I'm looking for applications and stuff like that. But now in Spotlight Search, if you search up any system toggles like Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, cellular, or anything like that, you can actually control it right within the Spotlight Search instead of having to go into the settings for it. With the current beta, they haven't released this yet, but this is going to be coming in the final release of iOS 17. Next, we have updates to the phone application. You've probably already seen all the contact posters in iOS 17 because that's one of the main things about iOS 17. But you can also see the call menu looks completely different. All the buttons have shifted downwards. So if you want to actually use your phone with just one hand, it actually makes it a lot easier now. This next one is just a slight little user interface change whenever your AirPods pop up. So before, even if you're in dark mode and you have the AirPods open up, it's going to open up pretty bright. But now it actually adapts to the screen appearance that you have it set to. So if you're in dark mode, it's going to pop up black and if you're in the light mode it's going to pop up white. Next we have updates to the photos application. Previously the photos was limited to recognizing only people in your images but now photos actually supports recognizing your pets so if you actually go into the people and pets section now you can actually find your pets organized in this one listing and you can find all the images organized in one place. It's pretty cool especially if you have pets you're going to like this one. And finally the last one is standby mode. Now at first when I seen standby mode I thought it's going to be limited to the iPhone. 14 series because they're the only ones with always on display but i've been testing it out and it actually works on the iphone 13 pro max only thing is you have to have your device on a magsafe charger and it has to be in horizontal mode um maybe on the iphone 14 you don't have to have it charging but on the older models you most likely would have to have the phone charging for that to work but it looks really cool and it's fairly simple i wish there's more options in the widgets but for now this is pretty cool and it's going to look nice on a nightstand and there you have it 15 plus hidden features and new features in iOS 17. If you guys did like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you guys found something that I haven't mentioned, let me know in the comment section below and make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.